My name is Leo Anthony Sally. I'm Christopher Moses. I'm Ivan Clement. And we are part of the MOCA team. MOCA is a clinical information system that's based on the cell phone, and we're deploying this year in the Philippines. MOCA allows a rural healthcare worker based in rural Philippines to take clinical information from a uh, patient and transmit it over the cellular network to a specialist working in Manila. For instance, if a patient comes in with possibility of pneumonia, they can work with the rural healthcare worker to capture this clinical data via x-ray and they can upload this into a remote server that integrates this into an electronic medical record. We have a server that will triage this information allowing a specialist to review the medical record, enter his diagnosis and treatment recommendations, and then send this back to the rural healthcare worker. At this point, the rural healthcare worker can deliver the diagnosis and allow them to seek treatment. So what we're trying to achieve here is not just introduce technology into a system that's um, inefficient in terms of delivering health care. What we're trying to do is to also help um, streamline those workflows because it's hard just to, to convert a paper-based system into electronic forms without re-engineering the way we deliver health care. And this, this is the reason why we think that technology is not it's part of the solution, but it's not the complete solution to what we're trying to do. Um, we're also partnering up with academic universities in the Philippines to, and also medical uh, organizations in the Philippines in looking at whether how they're doing things is the best way in terms of delivering the healthcare um, needs of, of the people, especially in the rural areas. Here we are with the Google Android phone. Uh, we basically developed Mocha on this phone because we believe its capabilities, intelligent system, and sophisticated design that we can leverage as a solution to, the, to our rural systems. Okay, so let me load the Mocha program here. Okay. Okay, so this is basically the welcome screen of Mocha. Okay, for instance, uh, let's play pretend. Uh, for instance, you're the patient in the rural area, and I'm the health worker. Okay, so I'll see the screen and I can do a procedure. So what's a procedure? Basically, they're the stuff that the doctor does or the health worker does to diagnose a patient. Okay. So right now, uh, we have loaded three procedures here. So we can do three procedures. So one is surgery follow-up. Then you have a prenatal screening and diagnosing cervical cancer. Okay, so for instance, we, ha uh, we want to do a surgery follow-up. Okay, so I click it. And then it will ask for the patient ID number, which I can then input. Okay, and yeah. And then it will ask some personal information about the patient. And then it will ask several questions about the site of surgery stuff related to the, the problem of the patient. Okay. I think the the core the the core feature here is the branching thing. Because as you can see, uh, there are many, many pages in this procedure that ask uh, one question each. And based on your response for, from the different pages, it will branch out into different pages because uh, some of the stuff may not be relevant given your previous answers to the questions. Okay. And then aside from this, you can also uh, record verbal notes mm. and add other comments and grab your GPS location uh, because, uh, well, uh, if you can hook it up with Google Maps, it can show you the uh, nearest hospital or something like that. Okay. All right, so, and then we can also add, take a photo of the site of surgery. And this will also prove useful for uh, dermatology cases. Okay, and then after that, we're done. And then uh, after that, we have several options to do. It's either uh, we can do another procedure for another patient or upload the data we have collected to the server. Okay, so now let's click upload the server. Okay, and then it will show an upload thing. It will run on the back end, so while you're doing it, you can do another procedure. And then uh, a core functionality also of Mocha is that uh, it uses three different technologies. One is packetization, synchronization, 
and then multimodal transfers. So what are those? Okay, so basically, because in the rural health, uh, rural areas, you don't have good enough coverage for cell phone networks. So you must develop a way of transmitting the data effectively and efficiently. Okay, uh, because if you transfer data in the regular way, and if the signals get chopped off, then all the data will be lost. Okay, so that's where packetization comes in. So we transfer the data by packets. So we chop the data and then send one chop at a time. Okay, if we notice that the signal is reliable, we double the size of the packet that we send. So if we send one packet at a time and then, okay, so it's been running quite good and it seems that the signal is reliable, so we double the size. So, okay, so now let's try sending two packets at a time. Okay. And if the signal's bad, we go and uh, take it half. So send two packets at a time, and the signal's gone bad. So we take it half of it. So we just send now one packet at a time. OK. And then there's another fe feature, which is synchronization. So for instance, uh, you don't currently have cell phone signal in the area. So the cell phone will wait, uh, will be the data will be saved in the server in the cell phone, and then it will run in the back end and listen for a signal. So once it detects a signal, it will upload the data to the server in the back end. And then there's also the multimodal transfer thing. Okay, so you can send data via SMS, MMS, GPRS, and other ways. So we leverage on those three core technologies to run local.